our diocesan prayer for vocations. O oh God, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto you. Bless our Diocese of Savannah with many vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. Give the men and women you call the light to understand your gift and the love to follow always in the footsteps of your priestly son. Please join in singing the opening hymn, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. A reading from the second book of Kings. In the tenth month of the ninth year of Zedekiah's reign, on the tenth day of the month, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and his whole army advanced against Jerusalem, encamped around it, and built siege walls on every side. The siege of the city continued until the eleventh year of Zedekiah. On the ninth day of the fourth month, when famine had gripped the city, and the people had no more bread, the city walls were breached. Then the king and all the soldiers left the city by night through the gate between the two walls that was near the king's garden. Since the Chaldeans had the city surrounded, they went in the direction of Rabbah. But the Chaldean army pursued the king and overtook him in the desert near Jericho, abandoned by his whole army. The king was therefore arrested and brought to Rivlah to the king of Babylon who pronounced sentence on him. He had Zedekiah's son slain before his eyes. Then he blinded Zedekiah, bound him with fetters, and had him brought to Babylon. On the seventh day of the fifth month, this was the 19th year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, captain of the bodyguard, came to Jerusalem as the representative 
of the king of Babylon. He burned the house of the Lord, the palace of the kings, and all the houses of Jerusalem. Every large building was destroyed by fire. Then the Chaldean troops, who were the captain of the guard, tore down the walls that surrounded Jerusalem. Then Nebuzadaran, captain of the guard, led into exile the last of the people remaining in the city, and those who had deserted the king of Babylon, and the last of the artisans. But some of the country's poor, Nebuzadarian, captain of the guard, left behind as vine dressers and farmers. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Let my tongue be silenced if ever I forget you. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. By the streams of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. On the aspens of that land we hung up our harps. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. Though there are captors asked of us the lyrics of our songs, and our despoilers urged us to be joyous. Sing for us the songs of Zion. Tongue be silenced if ever I forget you. How could we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silenced if ever I forget you. May my tongue cleave to my palate if I remember you not, if I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy. Let my tongue be silenced if ever I forget you. the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And then a leper approached and did homage and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hands, touched him and said, I will do it. Be made clean. His leprosy was cleansed immediately. Then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for him. The Gospel of the Lord. I invite Cole Walker to come forward with his sponsor, the Sacramento Commission. On the day of Pentecost, the apostles received the Holy Spirit as the Lord had promised. They also received the power of giving the Holy Spirit to others and, and so completing the work of baptism. This we read in the Acts of the Apostles. When St. Paul placed his hands on those who had been baptized, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they began to speak in other languages and in prophetic words. Our bishops are the successors of the Apostles and have this power of giving the Holy Spirit to the baptized, either personally or through the priest they appoint. In our day, the coming of the Holy Spirit Confirmation is no longer marked by the gift of tongues, but we know his coming by faith. He fills our hearts with the love of God, brings us together in one faith, but in different locations. 
congregations and works with us to make the church one and holy. The gift of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will be a spiritual sign and seal to make you more like Christ and a more perfect member of his church. And at his baptism by John, Jesus Christ himself was anointed by the Holy Spirit and sent out on his public ministry to set the world on fire. Oh, you've already been baptized into Christ, and now you will receive the power of the Spirit and the sign of the cross on your forehead. You must be a witness before all the world to suffering, death, and resurrection. Your way of life should at all times reflect the goodness of Christ. Christ gives very gifts to his church, and the Spirit distributes them among the members of his body to build up the holy people of God. Be an active member of the Catholic Church. Be alive in Jesus Christ, and under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, give your life completely in the service of others, as did Jesus Christ who came. Not to be served, but to serve. So now, before you receive the Holy Spirit, I ask you to renew the profession of faith you made in baptism, or your parents made for you, in union with the whole church. I invite you all to stand and withhold to answer the questions I do. Call do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, dying, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life? who came upon the apostles at Pentecost and today is given to you sacramentally in confirmation. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. My dear friends, in baptism, God our Father gave the new birth of eternal life to his chosen sons and daughters. Let us pray to our Father now that he will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen his sons and daughters with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All powerful God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and God. Give them a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of right judgment and courage, a spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with a spirit of wonder and awe in your presence, we ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. Call Paul. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. My dear friends, let us be one in prayer now to God our Father, as we are one in faith, hope, and love, His Holy Spirit gifts. Now let's up our prayers to our Father. For Pope Francis, May God continue to give him strength and good health as he leads the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For our elected leaders, may the power of God inspire them in their work 
for a just and lasting peace in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who are sick, may Christ, the divine physician, see their need and bring strength and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this community, may the Lord purify and sanctify us through his word and sacrament. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for the faithful departed, and especially Antoinette Bowie. May the Lord welcome them into his eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for Cole Walker, who has received the sacrament of confirmation today, for God to bless him and strengthen him as he grows up and called by God to change the world for the better. For his vocation and the work he will do in the world, we pray for the Lord. Our Father, we ask thee all and all our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. For he is born forever and ever. Amen. Welcome, Cole Walker. O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that, being conformed more perfectly to your Son, they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him, as they share in the memorial of his redemption, by which he gained for us the Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, ascending above all the heavens, sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you, all our hearts crying out as we acclaim. <laughs> Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending them the Spirit upon the mind of your thoughts, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. watching from home we pray together our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you're truly present in the most blessed sacrament, body, blood, soul, and divinity. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you to my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually. I choose to be one with you, Jesus. I want your heart next to my heart your soul next to my soul, your body and blood inside of me. I want your infinite divinity to fill and possess me completely. Jesus, I want to be one with you in my thoughts, feelings, and desire, all that I say to you. Jesus, I love you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
first prayer. Receive in your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that, being conformed more perfectly to your Son, they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him, as they share in the memorial of his redemption, by which he gained for us your Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So special congratulations to Cole Walker, the great one of our uh, wonderful Catholic families that have come through Blessed Sacrament School and have watched them grow up. Three great boys in this family and good, manly, healthy young men. So I just want you to know, uh, first of all, congratulations today, Cole. And secondly, um, I just want you to know, I don't care which one of you three becomes a priest. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, oh, there's four. Excuse me. I don't care which one of you four becomes a priest. As long as, as long as the Lord calls one of you, that's all you need to say. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and come to pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hills, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who howl about the world, seeking. Please join in singing the recessional hymn, The Spirit Sends Us Forth. 